so hi everyone we are back with yet another tutorial on model context protocol and this time we would be connecting gmail account with cloud ai and let cloud ai read your emails send emails on your behalf and what not so let's get started let me show you first of all a demonstration how it works and then we will jump on to how to complete it so let's get started so as you can see i have opened up my cloud ai desktop application if you have connected the mcp well you should be able to see a hammer sign here and under the hammer sign you can see gcp M, uh, g suit mcp related tools like send email search email modify email etc so let me try reading out my email sending an email for demonstration purposes what was the last email that i got in my gmail account As you can see, Claude has started working on and do remember that these things can be done using local LLMs as well. I have already covered a tutorial on how to connect MCP servers with local LLMs. And here you can see that it is able to fetch out our last email that was about from Anthropic for logging into Claude A that we did right now. So here you can see this is the last email that we have got and it's quite correct. Now let me send an email. Send an email to example at the rate gmail.com stating how AI is so good and why he should use Claude AI in just two sentences. The subject should be Claude AI is the best. Now, as you can see, that I started drafting the email. As example at the Gmail should be a wrong email ID. So you should see some problems when we check out a Gmail account. As you can see that email sent successfully to example at the rate Gmail. Now if I go to my sent, as you can see, the email was tried sending but address not found. No worries. But Claude, I did try out to send an email as well. So in this way, you can use G Suite MCP to send emails as well. Now let's jump on to how to enable G Suite MCP. So I think this is very similar to the one that we have released around Google Calendar also. Sometime back, it's the same MCP that we are using. So this time also, you need to go to your Google Cloud Console setup. This is the project that we uh, created for the Google Calendar application. Click here. You need to go to API and Services. You need to search for Gmail. API Gmail API once you see this click here and if it is not enabled for you do enable it for your project once done you need to go to credentials create new credentials that should be OAuth client ID fill in the information web application and in the URI you need to add localhost 4100 forward slash code as we did last time also and then create the OAuth client ID has been created and both and multiple Google Cloud applications can be added here so don't worry about it copy this client ID and client secret once done you should be able to see your OAuth 2.0 client IDs here when, whenever you wish to copy out we are using Rishi Pradeep Thing 41 G Suit for a hyphen MC GitHub repo. So in that case, the next steps are once you are able to set it up, you need to install this particular model context protocol G Suit hyphen MCP using Smithery. Once you've done it, it would be asking you to fill in certain information like client ID, client secret that we just uh, showed you. Redirect UI URIs is local as 4100 and then it will also ask you for a refresh token to generate that refresh token you need to run this particular command git clone this repo go inside the repo and npm install once done you need to run this particular command node get hyphen refresh hyphen token dot js once you run this command it will redirect you to chrome and it will ask you to log into your google account to provide access to gmail as well as to google calendar once done it will download a token.js file in the particular repo that you have git clone right now. Uh, open that particular token.json and enter the refresh token when prompted here once you run this Midri command. So 
it will be you would require to input four things redirect uri that you know client id and client secret should be copied from the oauth credentials that we created and then finally the to the refresh token should be done once you are done if you are able to install the mcp correctly this particular mcp should be visible in a cloud desktop config.json and once done you just need to go to your task manager close cloud ai and then reopen it and you should be able to see the email tools present for you i hope this was useful and you try it connecting gmail with cloud ai thank you so much